Hello everyone, welcome back to Cuboid Outpost. Almost said Ocean Block right there, but <laughs> anyway, um, so between episodes I did actually had some time, so I did a little bit. Oh, back up. It's good to see. Yeah, I did a little bit of things. So first off I did a bit of tidy up, like I said. I'm not exactly fond of how this looks, if I'm honest. Might go get some more lighting, put some more lights in here. I'm thinking, you know those um, those lights that like go in the corner. I, I kind of want to rim all of this with uh, those lights. Also, what I missed, I missed a few right there. Uh, so these are the uh, aluminum panels from Simply Lights. There we go. Uh, yeah, this is all it looks like right now. All of these have now got void upgrades as well. So I did add those in between. I also swapped out all of the ones that can have, you know, a compacting recipe. So basically all the ingots. Uh, a few of the other bits that I'm going to want to have, like, you know, the compressed stuff of. Oh, did I miss this one? I think I did. Let me grab a void upgrade as well. I literally just finished this, so... Uh, yeah, if you do notice... So, what I've done is... If I mine this, yeah. So, all I did is... Uh, I mined all behind these... Uh, what do you call it? The resource generators, just to give it a bit of... Bit of, uh, you know, like, so it all matches and you don't see any of the uh, not so goodium. Uh, so it should be everywhere. If you do spot anywhere that's got some not so goodium, let me know because I did, ch I went round and I did have a look. But yeah, I, uh, I just basically turned everything into this concrete. Uh, it still feels really dark in the middle here where the uh, elevator blocks are so that's why I want to rim everything with the uh, the lighting hmm Let's have a look see what what it takes to make that yeah, it's simply lights or simple lights edge top edge bottom I mean, we could give it a go. Oh, what? Why is that like that? I don't think it recognize. It doesn't recognize drawers as like a solid block. Oh, that's a bit of a bit of a shame. Uh, I might have to come back another time then. I'll come back another time and I'll, I'll fill all of these in. It recognises the trim as a solid block. That's very strange. Anyway, yeah, all of these have got void upgrades now. Uh, and I have no plan for what we're going to do today. I think maybe what we should do is... I'm thinking we get into power a little bit because I don't... Not a big fan of how this is just like all clumped up together right here. <laughs> also, that should be up one more. This one here should be up one. Hmm. Anyway, so power. Let's have a look at what we need for power. First thing we're going to need is like a, a metric ton of this dielectric paste. So I'm just going to make. Eight stacks, that'll do us, I think, for now, at least. Um, then we're going to want some of this dielectric casing, which means we want some of this, which means we want some bars. So let's make, like, as much of this as we... Okay, two stacks. Two stacks will do us. We are completing a couple of quests right here as well. 
probably look into those because they might give us stuff. Oh, pack your bags. What did I do here? Uh, yeah. Oh, I added a void upgrade to my backpack. So an advanced void upgrade, and I put these three things. So when I was mining out the uh, not so goodium right there, uh, it just picked them up, put them in my bag, and then voided them off. Uh, anyway, what were we doing? It was power. So I guess there's a bunch more. And those. Those as well. And these as well. That's pretty good. So energizing. Right here. Energized orb. Uh, we also need a bunch of these, like, um, rod things. Oh, yeah, we need to make these capacitors as well. So the nice thing about um, compacting drawers is it recognises the block of redstone. So, again, let's just make, like, I don't know, 32 of these. You can get a bit more from that. Teeny tiny ones. Oh, it wants us to make some charged snowballs. Also, why does it give us an extra one? <laughs> Weird. Anyway, oh, I didn't mean to put those in. Uh, right, so we can... Oh, actually, that gives us quite a lot. And these large capacitors. So the large one is just like this. Tiny one is just like this. Grab those, grab those. Oh, not pin. Oh, cool. So that gives us... So let's make some of these rods. Well, one at least, right? That should get us an extra one. And we get the wrench, which I've never actually used. Uh, I'm actually going to see if I can instantly upgrade these, because... Uh, yeah, I just need a block of quartz. One, two. One and two. And I don't think I can upgrade them anymore, but I did get a quest there, so there's there's three. That's pretty good. Um It literally just give us a starter one for that. Ah. Oh. Oh, that's not fun. Oh, well. <laughs> Let's do this one as well, then. So, another block of quartz. There you go, we've got three of these now. Um, I'm wondering if... Yeah, I think what we're going to do is make one of these things. And also, where is it? Uranium. Yeah, we'll make another one of these. I don't know if I showed it either, but I had to make a, another one of these for this. So it's got two. Also, I thought it looked pretty cool. And I did just try and fly. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this has got... Oop, that's not where I wanted to look. This has got all of the energy and speed upgrades. I thought, yeah, I'd give that a go, but it looks like it's, yeah, not keeping up on power with two of these. Need to figure something else out. Uh, it was mentioned, by the way, that these things here, these uh, ender gate things, I've never used these before, so I'm going to have to figure them out. But we can use these ender gates as like a a way of wirelessly transporting power and apparently there's a way of doing it with these ender gates that means that you can i think these are curious as well i can make some of these but that's how we get wireless charging player transmitter ah it might be these things huh energy discharger I really haven't played with power that much, to be fair. All I end up doing is making these reactors, and then, yeah. Anyway, right, so now we've got this. Uh, let's have a nap. 
quick little nap. Let's pop out here. What I can do with this is I can slap this down like here. Get these, put one on top, or right there, that'll do it. Something like that. These do hold quite a bit of power, so gotta watch for that. But now what I can do is I can just stick this like here. And these three should power this thing. And now all we need is I am going to make a stack of this energized steel stuff, which is gold and iron. Uh, yeah, this is not going to be enough power, I don't think. But there's some energized iron. Probably need a little bit more. Oh, wait, that was a quest. I thought, oh, there's no quest for that. But Automating usage. Do, do, do. You can do it with XNet. I mean, the refined storage version is so much easier. Uh, I don't know. I tell you what, right, before I actually automate any of this, I want you guys to let me know in the comments if I should swap to refined storage. Refined storage is something that I'm more familiar with, so I think it would be more... Engaging to watch, although if I don't swap to refined storage, then I'm going to have to learn how to do it with um, AE, which also might be quite interesting for those people that like AE more. Anyway, let's make some of these hardened capacitors, which also gets us more hardened capacitors. How many did we get? We got literally the, the least amount you could get right there. We got four. Ah, oh, um. Oh, cable anchors. Oh, we get more. Nice. 26. That's not too bad. Cool. Right. Um, what is next on the agenda? Power. Okay, just making these all the way up to nitro. We need to get to nitro anyway because... Not the blazing lanterns, although we do need to get the blazing lanterns at some point, which means we need silk touch. Also, I can just chuck these in here for now. No idea what this is. <laughs> uh, but I do want to upgrade to these energized rods. And in fact, that's a really good idea. What we'll do is we'll upgrade to energized rods and the blazing rods. Yeah, and the blazing rods. Ooh. There's another section. What's this one called? Energy storage. That's not it. Um, all powerful. Okay, so I didn't know there was a, a separate section for this. Fair enough, fair enough. I think um, the one that we're in right now, which is up here, power. This is like almost like the beginner's stuff. Yeah, I'll tell you what, what I'll do is I'll go away and make this hardened and get up to blazing at least. Just for the three that I've got outside. And uh, we'll be back after that. Whilst I was making the uh, blazing crystals, I remember there was a quest, I think, right here. To make a charged snowball. So I'm making that. And it takes a ton of power. Blimey. It's going to take a little while. Uh, yeah, whilst that's happening, I am going to... Oh, I put a hopper underneath, by the way. So, yeah. I forgot you could do that. So, But whilst that's happening, I'm going to go grow a couple of... Um, fir trees. Just a 4 by 4 Oh my god, a 2 by 2 which makes 4 uh, around here where there's some dirt patches, just to get rid of the dirt. 
Anyway, I just thought I'd pop in to say I'm making this snowball thing. So, back in a bit, when I've done all the rest of these. Well, I haven't upgraded these yet from uh, basic tier. Yeah, back in a bit. Alright, there's the snowball, so I should get the quest. Hehe. <laughs> no idea what this does. I kind of don't want to throw it, just in case. <laughs> if it does a big explosion. I suppose what I could do is if I... I've got my jetpack on, by the way. And I'm running out of food, because I... Uh, Forgot it. Yeah, um, yeah, I don't have any run energy. <laughs> Take it down here, maybe. Boom. Oh, it does some lightning. That's good to know. Is Twilight Forest in this pack? Lightning always reminds me of Twilight Forest. Don't ask me why. It's because when you... um. When you chuck the diamond into the pool, it uh, does a lightning strike, which I used to use to get charge creepers, if I needed one for some reason. Uh, let's have a look. No, it's not in there. Okay, fair enough. Good to know. Uh, right, anyway, I'll get back to making this... Uh, I needed... That's not what I wanted to do, was it? There. Yeah, I'll get back to making these, and then I'll be back in a sec. Captain Distractoid over here, that's me. Uh, <laughs> I just remembered, someone said... Uh, I can't remember who it was, but someone in the comments did say, make a chopping block, chopping board thing, use some apples, and then you can get fruit salad. Actually, all of these look pretty good. I've got sugar cane now, so I can make that. Doesn't look too bad either. Yeah, okay. Well, what I'll do is I'll make, like, five of those. Now, what is it for the chopping board? Oh, I was just making some biltong. So I've got some more of that. Let's put that in the fridge. Is it not called that? Cutting board. Ah, okay. Uh, so I need... Let's just get that many. Uh, what is it for this? Like this? Oh, and an apple in there. Nice. Awesome. Uh, I'm keeping all my food in here still. There's so many things I could uh, I could eat. I might do a cooking a cooking episode soon, where I just go through and I make a bunch of foods. Uh, I was thinking, just putting this out there. What I'm planning on doing is maybe doing a bit of a cooking episode where I actually do some of the cooking, do like a Pam's in life IRL sort of thing. Let me know if you're interested in that, because yeah, I'm happy to do that. Is there a Pam's digging up? Oh yeah, there is one. Whoa. Whoa. Where's this from, though? Ah, there was a quest for this. How do I get into this chapter then? Unlock chapter. Okay, how do I seed or feed? Ah, we've got to get right here. So we need to do all of this stuff first. Should definitely get into doing a farming episode as well. Uh, right, anyway, uh, I'll meet you back once I've. <laughs> now that I keep saying it, I know, but I'll meet you back once I've completed the. Uh, upgrading the. thingies. What are these called? 
Rods. Good old Rod. I wonder if Rod and Jerry have ever met. And there we go. We've got the... Uh, uh, what are these called? Blazing. Blazing Energizing Rods. 420. So, um, yeah, now that we've got that, let's have a look at something else. Also, I've tidied up a little bit. And I made one of these. And you might be wondering where I got black dye. So, I'll show you this. You need black stained glass for this. So I need a black dye, right? And you'd think, ah, oh, either ink sacks or wither roses. Uh, but I actually did this, milling. So if you stick a bit of coal. Uh, so I, I put another gearbox right here. That is going into this thing, whatever this is called, millstone. Uh, you can then stick a bunch of stuff in that to get, uh, in fact, Millstone, let's have a look at the recipe. So that's easy enough to make, right? So I can get lime sand. Not sure what this does. Do you cook it? You cook it into limestone. Uh, yeah, apparently you cook it into limestone. Okay, cobble from andesite. That probably would have been a really good idea. To get your first cobblestone. Maybe you need cobblestone for this. No, you don't, actually. Yeah, that would have been a pretty good idea to get get your first type of cobblestone. But yeah, you can chuck stuff in here. Uh, this osmium crushed osmium ore. I know there's a way of getting more than more than two dust. I mean, it doesn't matter. We've got infinite of every thing right now, don't we? But if um if you're doing this in a different pack, you could uh, not just with this, but the crushing wheels. You could then send that through this washing thing. So the the crushed ore stuff, you can send it through this. Also, I I changed this up a little bit. I think it looks kind of cool with these uh, dark oak trap doors. I know I said I wouldn't use dark oak, but I think these look different enough that I think it's fine. And it kind of flattens everything out. It was a bit bulky before. Now I feel like there's so much more room for activities down here. Um, and I did cover up the little hole that I had here. Uh, ooh, I could still see. Ah. Can you see it back there as well? Oh, you can. Oh, poop. Okay, I'll go I'll go back and I'll I'll change that at some point. <laughs> uh but yeah, um I did it down here. You chuck some coal in this. Did I do it already? No. So if I grab some is it up here, yeah, coal. One bit of coal. You literally just like yeet it in there. Let that do its thing. And then when that is finished, you can just right click it to get some black dye. And sometimes you get gray dye from that as well. So that's how I was getting black dye. Uh, but then the oven, it looks amazing. I love the little animation. It's probably from this. Is it the same cooking for blockheads? It is. But because we made this oven, I'm switching gears a little bit because I want to make these things here. So all these pots and pans and stuff. Let's uh, let's have a look at this. Um. Okay. So we got a sink already toaster magically turns bread into toast good to know spice rack fruit basket oh what's a fruit basket stores fruits for recipes yeah we need to get into this definitely um eating unit oven upgrade allows allows to heat an oven using energy oh Provides snow and ice for recipes. <gasps> Prevents the last item in the slot from being used up. Okay, yeah, we need to definitely look into these. Uh, these are proper easy to make as well. In fact, I've got three snowballs that I was saving. I'm going to chuck those in there. We'll make those at some point. Anyway, let's get back to what we were looking at. So, pots and pans. So I think that's pans, right? Hot tea. 
Oh, I need to make some of that at some point. Being British and all, uh, so bakeware. Let's just cook up a bunch of this clay because we're going to need it. There you go, there's a stack of that. So, bakeware. I know this will be a quest at some point, but I want to just do it now. Knock it out, right? I've already made the cutting board. So let's do it in order from JEI, shall we? Grinder. Mixing bowl. Pot. Roller, why not? Saucepan. I kind of think that we should probably be making some of this stuff out of iron, but hey -o. Can I not just slot this in here? Oh, I can. Beautiful. What's that one there? That one is the saucepan. Skillet. Bakeware? Yeah, yeah, there we go. And then we need some sort of... Let's get some coal, put some coal in there. Nice. Oh, these aren't the same thing. Ah, I thought they were. Oh, well. Uh, let's find a rack or something for this. Is it cooking for blockheads? Oh, you just cook a book. Well, we can make a book, can't we? We have some leather, so uh, can we cook it in this? No. Shows foods you have. So shows foods you can make with what's in your inventory. Well, nothing right now, but I think if we chuck that back in, can you not cook it again? Wait, what? Oh, you do it this way. Got ya. No filter edition. Uh, again, some of these are probably quests, but I don't mind. All right, let me cook these up. I'll be back in a sec. And there we go. We got our cooking table thingy. Probably should have made this lit. Oh, you can dye this as well. Dyeable. What colour is this? Cyan. Uh, let's go for some bone meal. Do I right click it? Oh, wrong one. Yeah, it's like pink. Let's try and get some cyan. I like the look of the cyan stuff, so cyan is this. Oh, I can make this. That's good. I do have cactuses. That's good to know. Wait, appetite. Well, that's even easier. It's actually quite nice. That's that's the top of this. It's the same as this. That kind of works, doesn't it? Hmm. Uh, there's also a way that we can connect the pots and pans and stuff, right? I will get back to doing other stuff in a sec. Just putting that out there. <laughs> Spice rack. Fridge. Is the fridge from cooking from blockheads? Yeah, it is. Cooking for blockheads, sorry. Uh, so we can put... Tall rack? Yeah, let's make a tall rack.
Is that technically connected? Uh, I'm not sure it would say. Hmm. Let's make another tool rack just in case. Uh, we might need a third. A rolling pin. Yeah, sod it. Looks decent. Right, anyway, sorry, let's get back to doing what we were doing. Um, We were doing some power stuff. And the reason we wanted to get into power is so, oh uh, yeah, so we can make... We have enough for two blocks. So I'm going to put these two blocks out here. And I forgot you can't get to these. No! Okay, sorry, I'm going to break these so I don't have to <laughs> grow any more trees. I'm sure you guys understand. Did that break this? It didn't. Oh, love it. So this is now going up. Uh, not twice as fast, but 1.5 times as fast. Uh, and we should have like a good... Oh, wow. That's a lot of obsidian right there. I'm going to chuck that in our system just because we should probably make a draw for a few of these things. Um, I might start making a couple of draws just for new stuff, right? So we can always stick them down here somewhere. Maybe we stick them in these bits. Hmm. Anyway, right. Sorry, where were we? Um, making power stuff to make those things. Let's have a look at the quests again. I think maybe today we should get... Now we've got obsidian, right? We can make some refined obsidian. Um, but maybe today we should get into completing, finally completing this. Um, and I will not automate it. And there's one reason for that. I know a really good way of automating it with refined storage. So if you guys decide refined storage is the way... Uh, then let me know and then I can easily do it with refined storage. I'd have to figure it out with um, AE, if we do the AE version, so... Ah, that was easy enough. Uh, so we need the elite control circuits. Uh, how many of these did we need? Was it four? It was. Ah, oh, poop. Yay. Well, I only got one for that. Oh my god. I'm so unlucky today on those things. I'll stop complaining, I swear. Right, uh, so we can upgrade something to the elite tier. Probably our smeltery, right? Uh, in... Dollar. Oh, I have everything, that's amazing. Hey. We're gonna need to figure out power a bit soon enough. Um so we get rid of this. Next on the agenda is getting refined obsidian. So Richmond Chamber. Op. And he gets a ton of this stuff. There we go, we get four stacks of obsidian dust. Uh, I might turn that straight away into... Can you use obsidian dust for literally anything else? No. So it uses ten, so we can make eight of these at a time with one of these. Eight. So we need half a stack divided by eight. Yeah, oh god. I'll tell you what, I'll just put 16 in here. Might be enough. Again, we've got infinite diamonds, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Hopefully this is going to be enough for...
Maybe not. Anyway, doesn't matter. That's going to make us some refined obsidian. I think if we combine this with... Yeah, we can make the, the refined obsidian stuff. Make the sword. I still don't know if it's any better than what we've got. So, 8, 4, and then knockback resistance. And what have we got on? 7... 2.5 and then yeah okay oh okay that was pretty good then so we needed uh, 16 find obsidian right there. Uh, we can also enrich this. Make enriched obsidian. And then we can use this to make the uh, what do you want called? This stuff. Atomic alloys. Yes. Although we do need some of these alloys as well. So Let's grab 16 of these again and we'll chuck these back through here. I'm not entirely sure how many. 1, 2, 8. Is it 10 per for one of these? 20 per. So I think it was a stack. So this might be about enough. Hmm. That's too much maths for me right now. <laughs> I think I nailed it. But he did nail it. Look at that. Whoa. Right, now we can stick some of this in here. And that'll make us some um, atomic alloy. Give me these back. Thank you. Yay, atomic alloy. Uh, so that also gives us some more atomic alloy. Three, it's not too bad. And then it wants us to make two of these ultimate. Yay. What does that unlock? That looked like it unlocked something. The ultimate bin. Ah, huh. oh, okay. Yeah, so I always thought, so in the UK, a bin is like a trash can, right? It's a a bin, right? You bin things off by putting them in the bin. But it turns out that in mechanism, bins are a bit like storage drawers. So, yeah, it really confused me. Uh, that happened in Ocean Block as well, actually. I was like, why is, why is there a bin? Are they trash cans or Ooh, ender chests? Right, anyway, let's get back to this. We're almost finished, almost finished. We're going to make an ultimate. Yeah, let's make an ultimate first, and then we'll come back to the, the tool. Installer. And we have everything. Whoa. Amazing. Don't get anything for that, do we? No. It'd be nice if we got a couple of installers for that or something. That requires refined obsidian. So we are we have got an osmium compressor, to be fair. Osmium compressor. Let's grab one of these. God, that is horrible sounding. <laughs> and that can go away. So now, oh, only thing left is to make one of these 
Wait for it. Get ready. Ready your ears. And there it is. Atomic Disassembler. And if we stand up here, it's going to charge this up for us. Uh, we are going to get into wireless charging. I think we kind of need to do something about power though as well, right? Uh, you can also upgrade this, I believe. I haven't used um, the mechanism tools in a while. But this is kind of like a pickaxe slash uh, axe. So everything can be done with this. kind of don't need these anymore. It does use power though, so... Mm. Yeah, we need to get into wireless. Right, moving on from there. Now we've completed this entire first chapter, A New Life. We can look into a new focus. <laughs> this is going to try and make us to get us to make a couple of tools, I see. Using Tinker's classic. And we should definitely get into digging up dirt. Okay, right. Let's knock out this Tinker's one first. And then we'll move on to getting, getting into the tool stuff. So, let me bookmark everything, and then we'll be back, and we just knock it all out. Oh, there we go. Bookmark everything. So, let's just crack them out. One of these. One of these. One of these. And then, we kind of need to set these up. I'm going to do it right here for now. Stick that in the middle. Uh, and we also need these patterns. Uh, so one, two, three. Grab some wood. Uh, it's this one here. Axe head. Tall binding. Looks very spiky compared to what I'm used to. And then this one. Quest complete. Next one it wanted was us to combine all of these. Which then gives us wooden repair kit. Stone. Stone axe thingy. We then want to, don't know why we had to tick that. Why does it think we've already got a, an iron small axe thingy? Anyway, what we'll do is we'll actually go and make one of those just in case. So what we can do with that is, oh. Can use one of these so we're not wasting gold. Oh yeah, we need some iron as well. Oh, there's mine here. This thing uses a lot more lava than um, I previously thought. There we go, that will make us an iron axe head. Could go all the way up to Manulin, to be fair. Gives us that. Silky, it gives us silky cloth straight away. We should definitely make a pickaxe then. Yeah. I'm going to bin these off. Uh, right, let's get some more stone out. Let's make a pickaxe. And then we'll make a manual in silky touch pickaxe. Stone. One of these. One of these. What do we want to make it out of? So if I remember correctly, cobalt is like the quickest. Manual in is obviously the the best when it comes to durability. 
We could do manual in for the, the head. I have no idea about the uh, tool rod. Yeah, maybe we go just iron for the tool rod. And the uh, binding. Ah, oh, poop. Forgot about that. Uh, yeah, I forgot I need to remove this. Now heat that up. Get it to heat up the iron as well whilst we're at it. That'll make us a manual in pickaxe head. Make us the rod. Good old rod. And there we go. We've got ourselves a. Manual in pickaxe. Uh, and then we can also upgrade this straight away. No, we can't because we need to upgrade this thingy. Yeah, we need a Tinker's Anvil thingy. Right, we can make one of these. Why is it trying to make it? Why is there two recipes? It's very weird. So we should have some in here. Let's get four of these. And oh, still got my my uh, jetpack on. Anyway, so we can make block of electrum. Uh, I think we already have blocks. To be fair, it's got such a satisfying sound when that goes down. Uh, so this we can chuck in like this, and then do something like this. Silk touch. Oh, of course we get it now, after I just ripped everything out. Like, now I could probably uh, run out of here. I can pick this up. Oh, poop. Okay, well... Lesson learned. Look for silk touch quicker. You fool. So, we've got a silk touch pickaxe now. Uh, I'm going to bin these. Don't need them. Uh, I need to set this back up. I'll, I'll be back in a sec. There we go. Set that up. I'm just putting my pickaxe in my backpack. Because I don't actually need it on us at all times. Um, I do get that from the quest. So that's another book. Oh, I bet you. Do we get that from one of these? No, we don't. But we do get the uh, creative upgrades for these. Creative ability. Damn. I really don't know what I'd do with one of these. I don't think you can make these either. Yeah, but... Oh, well, maybe we do need a cleaver at some point. Get some wither skulls. Anyway, we've got this uh, encyclopedia now. You can combine all the books together, and then you get this encyclopedia thingy. Okay. Anyway, um, I'm gonna I'll stop stop reading this now. Just wanted to knock that out. Uh, do we make these two? I think I'll come back to those, and we'll just start on digging up dirt. So it just wants a botany pot. Ah. that in my inventory. Now it probably wants a hopper botany pot and cloche. And we've got both of those things. So there's the hopper botany pot. Cloche. Yeah, yeah. And now it wants us to get all of these things. And we've got basically all of the... Oh, really? It wants us to get these seeds. Absolutely fine. We can get some sand. 
Oh, there we go. We did get some cocoa beans, so thank God for that. That knocked out a couple of these. Cactus, sugarcane, bamboo. Bamboo. Done. Fern. Oh, do I have to pick that up? I've got one outside, actually. Have a nap first. Did a complete lap and it wants fern seeds okay it needs the rest how do i get carrots that's the thing there is a carrot seed that comes from this organically enriched sand oh you get a lot of stuff from this melon beetroot all of the vanilla seeds plus the sweet berries okay right we're gonna make some of that organic if we can is it a pain oh it looks like a pain uh, not too bad. We haven't got much rotten flesh though. I mean, there's some over there. Yeah, maybe we'll run around and try and find some more rotten flesh. Right, there we go. Back home now. I've got 18 out there, so it's pretty good. Uh, it was this silica dust, I think. Right, I'm going to wait for this, and then we'll make some of this organic sand stuff. Um, in fact, let's do that next episode. This looks like poop. Yeah. We uh, we did get quite a lot done this episode. I mean, between episodes, I did sort of do a bit, little bit of uh, base prettying up. It's not that pretty, to be fair. Anyone has any ideas what I should do with some of these like blank areas? Let me know. Uh, we managed to do a couple of quest lines. We started on power. And uh, yeah, now we're just... Now all we need to do is... I don't think I've ever gone over what the plan is, but... The plan is actually to get to the overworld, so one of these right here. And for that... Oh god, we need to make another singularity, so we'll have to figure that one out in this. We can use water or something. We'll need to make uh, an ultimate singularity, which won't be that difficult. All of these are just metals, which we've... and glowstone and stuff, redstone, lapis... We could, we, yeah, we've got a enough of each of these to make a singularity because it's only two thousand of each. Nitro might be a bit of a weird one. We do need some nether stars. That's fine though. Oh, and we need some ether gas, so we need the the, the wither anyway. Blaze lantern. We need to go to the to the nether. So we'll we'll get to the nether next episode probably. I'll, um, I'll note that down somewhere. Make sure we go there next episode. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thanks for joining me. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.